What's going on everybody? In this video, what I have here today is the Rubik Professional 4-in-1 function big upgrade function by the way and this is a stick welder and this is you know hot start easy to strike arc you know anti-electric shock function anti-stick easy to remove rod anti-force arc uh, looking at the side this is the MMA you know MMA 225 the net weight is 5 kg let's go over some of the specs on the side here the voltage frequency is AC 120 volt to 220 volt frequency is 50 to 60 hertz output is 120 to 20 slash 135 amps the current is 225 amps no loading voltage whatever that means 65 volts duty cycle is 60 percent and you know insulation class f protection ip i guess that would mean the um, welding and it comes with a clamp an electrode holder a it actually comes with a little helmet and a brush <laughs> so how about that everybody let's go ahead and take this thing out i did open it up and kind of look in it but let me go ahead and take it out of the box and show you all what you get with this thing number one there's the welder itself right there well here's all of the wiring stuff we're going to need that you get whatever that thing is and a brush what is this? oh this is your mask i see and then i think there's a glass in there that is it put that aside so take this out of the package here and let's look over it this thing is you know what it's small just looking at it, it's small. Oh, and it's got a 110 outlet, not a 220. That's awesome. Big display there. Kind of show you some of the features on it. And then the back, on and off. It's got a ground. It's got a fan for cooling. Let's go ahead and figure out how to put this mask together. This must be something with the mask. Oh, you hold it like this, I get it. You're gonna hold the mask up like this and look through it. Okay, let me put this thing together and read over the instructions and see what all I need to do to get this thing working. Wow, that's a beefy clamp right there. So I'm guessing that would clamp onto the, the metal and then that's gonna clamp onto the stick. And I do have some sticks. So let's get to it. Right, everybody, I got it set up here. You can kind of see what I've done. So I've got it plugged in. You turn it on right back here, and by no means, I'm not claiming that I'm any type of professional welder or anything. I have a small amount of welding experience, but I this is nothing like no welding demonstration here. I went ahead and put it on 100 amps right there. You can do all of your adjustments. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you adjust the dial right here. I'll actually turn it up. Let's go 105. So we're on 105 right there. And that's where the uh, the stick's gonna hold on the hot side and then the negative side's right there. And I have a piece of flat iron and I'm using my magnet to hold it together there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just spot weld it right across there. I'm gonna hold the shield up. This is their supplied shield. Pretty cool that they have that. And then I'm just gonna be able to bang that off and clean it up. So I'm using uh, the sticks that I'm using, the fleet weld. These are the 1 16th. I didn't think I needed to go very big because of the size of this welder. This is a very affordable welder for the price and I do have some welding gloves so I have everything set up with a mask the welding gloves and then I'm ready to go so let's see if we can just do like a little bead right across there and see how that turns out <laughs> so I'm having to use this handheld mask that uh, I got here so right here I'm just gonna line up the stick and I seem to have started it Let's reposition this. I'm going to turn it up to 120. That's already welded on there. <laughs> that worked great. Let's try that again. I'm probably a little too hot. I know all you welding experts out there are looking and realize that I'm a little too hot. I'm running it a little hot. I'm gonna try to lower it back down. The reason I got this thing like this is because I wanted to kind of like practice
I think we're good. Y'all can see the weld right there. I definitely got it a little too hot, but let's take this off and take, now let's, wow, look at that. That actually worked. <laughs> I can't believe I actually welded that on there. So now let's try to get it down. Right now, I realize that's a little high too. Look at that, everybody. Well, I've welded a little bracket on there. Now my next time I'm gonna do this, I'm sure I'll do it a lot cleaner. So I did a quick little spot weld that welded that on there and that seemed to work great. I will, I mean, obviously I know you guys are probably looking at that and be like, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, you're right, I don't know what I'm doing. But look at that, I tell you what, that's on there solid. I can't break it off with my hand, so it's welded on there. I will practice and get a lot better with that. Looking over the weld, you can see how it kind of splattered there, but that was more user error than the actual welder. I think this little Rubik welder did great. Look at this thing. Um, you could see I did adjust it. I started out on like 120, then I went down to 96 on this. I went through that rod pretty quick. That's why I think I need to figure out the adjustments on the steel. I know there's some, I'm gonna do some research and figure out how to really get this a lot cleaner. I did go buy this uh, this little flat stock metal right here just so I could practice um, stack of the sticks and those things are very affordable too. This whole welding setup is super affordable. This is something I recommend for any DIY, just kind of like at home. Yeah, you're not gonna be doing any commercial welding jobs. Actually, you probably could. So yeah, that's all I got today, everybody on the Rubik MM225, 120, 220 volt, professional welder. See y'all in the next video.